it, yeah. So it's like... But I just can't listen to another evaluation of another woman's dating situation. Like, you over- had Kevin Samuels on? Yeah. And I, I think friends- he's a terrible person. Okay, we can talk about that. But I, I just have a person. lot of friends who like watch this shit over and over. And I'm like, bro, at a certain point, don't you feel like you've just I'm a learned terrible enough person about like, unhappy man. women who are like having a hard time dating? It's not like it, the clips at first to me, like they were jarring to see. But like building a brand on shitting on black girls, like I don't like that. You really think that's what it is, though? 100%. But- I think some of the advice has been um so i would say conducive but like for the most telling the truth is shitting on women these days telling the truth is shitting on women and i'm going to use this clip to kind of highlight a growing problem with women in the danger zone as it persists that no truth is not toxic or is not insulting if not ladled in with a bunch of superficial sweetness but i want you to understand that every one of my critics that keeps talking about this tone stuff notice the tone when they speak about me and the desire they have for me it's like oh i like what he's saying but i can't wait till somebody fuck him up part like no your most viral and salacious shit is really talking about women badly right and like i don't like that like but don't you think that like the the women that he's shitting on like they deserve it no really no i don't i think like the 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 point that i was so easily able to call from the kevin samuels thing was just like these women are being raised to not understand what the fuck is going on. Like they just really telling think, girls they're fat, looking like a linebacker, shit like that. Like that's fucking nuts. The women that he says that to are the women telling women that they're fat or looking like a linebacker is fucking nuts. So what are we supposed to say? What are we supposed to tell you, ladies? That when you're two five foot eight and two hundred and thirty pounds, that you're gorgeous, that you're what every man dreams about. See, the problem with the women like this and so many women in the danger zone have danger zone. is because they're coming to a very hard realization right now that out there in the world, many of them did not have or do, don't have what their mothers and grandmothers had. That's a man, a date, a dating life. Women in the West worldwide are coming to the conclusion that their PhD. I'm a PhD. And everything else doesn't matter a hill of beans because the very men that you want, the high value men that you want, don't see you. You're invisible. Most of you lack femininity or your body count or whatever. And the, and the fact of the matter is it's like no criticism. Now, I'm going to say Adam did a good job here basically flipping up and saying, well, what about when we do have to do it to men? I want you all to focus on this person. She has... They all act like they haven't seen my show. Or, or, and I'm going to judge based on what they say, not what I think. You're talking about somebody based on clips. But you're going to say he's a horrible person. No, ma'am. Women like you just don't like the truth. And the truth is, you made your choices. Just like men make their choices. And men deal with the consequence of those choices. What women are starting to find out is they're not really ready to deal with the consequences of their choices. That's what freedom is. Freedom to win, freedom to fail. Who think that they're going to get some... Like, I've seen these women who are like 300 pounds saying that they deserve a guy who's making, you know, a million dollars a year and shit. And it's like, that's not going to happen for you. Like, you are crazy for thinking that this is how the world works. And for him to have to even tell them that is pretty shocking to me. It's just shocking to watch him speak that way because I don't really see the caliber of woman he could get. Like, I don't fuck. Let's knock this shit out of the park right now. Ma'am, let's, let's, let's be honest. You're you, I'm me. I've never had a problem getting any caliber of woman I want. This is the same sign language shit that always goes on. Well, who, who is he to say that? The women I deal with, if I were to bring them on camera, would shut your mouth quickly. Adam 22 has seen them. But again, this is what women in this. Danger zone. They always go back to, yeah, wait, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? See, it always comes to the ad hominem when the truth comes out. Well, let me see your pedigree. Let's see your PhD. Let's see your ranking. Let's see who you date. See, 
The, I will never, ever expose the women in my life to this madness because I could put an angel on this screen and somebody would find something wrong with her, especially women who hate the truth. Honestly, they sit back and watch this program and laugh. They're like, wow, these women really believe this. Uh, 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 he's not on my level. Really? R really? I may not be your cup of tea, but let's not act like my tea does not get served. Anytime. I'm, I'm to the point to where women are so willing to suspend belief that I've actually heard women who are straight up fours. Fours by any stretch of the imagination. 300 plus pounds. Talking about who you think he is. He don't even look that good. He ain't even in that. How good do, does a man need to look for you? But again, it's the same stuff. Criticize the man, insult the man. And gentlemen, I need you to understand why they get so upset. Because I advocate for you. Because typically, a man like myself is supposed to be selling that, that them, you, she's a queen, she's a goddess, she's a this, she's a that. I'm supposed to be saying the things that they want to hear to sell books and t-shirts and things like that. But because I have the nerve to stand 10 toes down, flat-footed for men, the very women who will be lining up to see me if I, if I spoke a different way, they would be, you think the iPhone gets something? If I talk the way these women wanted me to talk, they would be acting like I'm the iPhone 14. They'd be out there for weeks waiting for me to get out there. But because I speak for you, it looks like Father's Day at church. Empty. But why does it have to go to that right away? I think the because thing that's shocking is... It, it goes is to that right away because you do need to be exemplary of what you're saying to people. I'm not listening. That's what the Donald Trump bullshit was. Right, but he dresses very well. You can't tell well us when how he, we he, need to be a country that's this, this, and that when your shit is fucked up and you could barely be eloquent. Right. Like, don't tell me that I deserve a person who looks like this when, like, Kevin Samuels is six and a half, seven. Right, but the thing about Kevin Samuels is that it's not about him. It's like... Six and a half, seven, madly successful, very popular... Lots of people know me, and I was that before I got here. And I don't make the same kind of petulant little childlike argument that so many of you ladies get because you get upset with just the truth. Why is this important? Because modern women simply can't handle the truth. So much so that here comes the shame, insults, guilt, the need to be right. Now they're starting to try to recruit people to try to come at me. I want to see somebody kick his ass. Why don't you just get better? Why don't you just become the women that your mother, your grandmother, and your great-grandmother were? You know the women that got married and kept men? Why don't you become the women that men actually want instead of trying to say, well, I want to see his woman. Trust me, my woman ain't got nothing for you. You can't hold a candle to the women I deal with. And I will tell you right now, when I do decide, if I do decide, you'll be able to hear a rat piss on cotton because I don't deal with trash. Trust and believe. Number one, like, yes, he, he dresses nice and he came in here with an attractive woman and stuff. So he, he's doing what he can to paint the picture. But I think that the main thing that his Thank content you, points out is just how women have had their hand held through life so much and are mm -hmm. so not used to being told what's real and on the other hand it's like if you're a fat dude who's ugly and is not going to get any pussy i mean it's just the world is lining up to let you know that you ain't shit and a lot of these women I, they I, fat figure guys it get fucked that's not true they figure it out at like 35 they're just not the world isn't just not as accommodating as they've been told their whole life fat guys get screwed yes because fat guys who get screwed have had to make themselves valuable see what she didn't say is fat unattractive broke guys get screwed See, and gentlemen, we know this. So, like I say to all my critics and detractors who tell me my tone and this and what woman you're dealing with, tell you what, sis, homegirl, you bring your man, I bring my woman. Let's see what happens. Let's take pictures. Let's line up side by side and let's see what happens. I'll make you famous. I don't think you want to do that. It'll be a bad goddamn day for you. And now we have Kevin Samuels to let them know. And I think that he's actually doing important work. I can't wait for Dr. Umar to get his ass. I really <laughs> hope they get it. And, doc, and hey, let me say this too. Uh, Dr. Umar and any other black men, do not allow women to put batteries in your back. 
This is the main thing that has brought the black community down right here. When a black woman cannot defeat the argument, she wants to send somebody at the black man to destroy. So now, so I can't wait for Dr. Umar. What do we, what do Dr. Umar and I uh, disagree with? Black families with black people, black men leading, black men taking responsibility, building the community. What do we disagree with? Black boys at the bottom need to be improved. What do we disagree with? Outside the fact of calling you queen, mother, God of CMOS, CMOS gold. We don't disagree on a whole lot. And I guarantee you things we disagree with as men, we will slide that to the side because the things we agree with are a lot greater. See, that's what you women don't understand. It's because your asses get petty and snippy and catty with women. You can't, you can't overtake men because you can't even work together. You got women who don't like some chick from the fourth grade because of something she did. Now the chick don't even know. And you want men to act catty. You aren't going to get men to act catty like women because we understand without us, the, this thing falls apart. So stop trying to recruit men to come and go get him, Dr. Umar. Go get him. Dr. Umar got his own business. He got his own purpose. And trust me, before he can do anything with you, he's going to need men like me to help him realize his dream. Check your shit at the door. Get better instead of trying to get me. Look, look at this. This is how far they'll go because they can't handle the truth. Stop him. Stop him. Don't say it. Go beat him up. Shut him down. This is why 911 ends up at your house. Police knocking on your door. Adam 22 ain't calling nobody on me. It's my Nubian queen. <laughs> but Dr. Umar is living in a fantasy world. Kevin talks about real shit. How is Dr. Umar in a fantasy? Because he kind of relies on these like fake arguments too of being like you, you say mean things to black women it's not really about no that. dr umar is like way deep mind you he's super homophobic and i can't even believe i'd be sticking up for him like this but like right. i have really seen dr umar for the good in what he's taught people about blackness that i fuck with oh oh you heard that now i don't know what her sexual preference orientation is but uh she said, I, I, he's super homophobic, so I'm going to agree. I'm going to assume that she's at least uh, in favor. But she's seen the good that he's doing. So about blackness, so she fuck with it. And I challenge you, ma'am, don't speak my name again. Don't, don't say a word about me until you understand who the hell you're talking about. And that's another problem in our community. People are always talking about people before they actually go do their research. If you don't do your research on me, keep my name out your mouth, please. Especially if you want to speak with some sort of authority, talk about I'm a horrible person. You don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know about the content. And I will put your warped, small perspective against the dozens and hundreds of black women who have said thank you to me. The mothers, the wives, the daughters who say I'm a better wife, I'm a better daughter, I'm a better spouse, my husband and my future generations, thank you. Go to my comment section. I, I don't post a I could post them, but I'm not going to. But see, that would be too much like right. Because all you have to do, gentlemen, is just say something that they don't like and then boom. See, in our community, it's real easy. They don't want to listen to you unless they like what you look like. And then you got to say what they want to hear. If those two things don't, if those two things aren't there, then you might as well be, you might as well be uh, invisible. Problem is, I can be seen. Them for it. I think like when I'm making the Dr. Umar Kevin Samuels joke, I really just want someone to see Kevin Samuels. Like I want to see someone really tell him about himself because I think he needs that. I'm not that person to do that. You're not that person to do that. But now why don't you come tell me about myself? Why don't you do that? Since though you know so much about me, why don't you come tell me about myself? See, the problem is women don't like to be told about themselves. All I do is take calls and have consensual conversations with willing adults and just ask questions. That's it. But I have the nerve to do it. I have the nerve to just ask the uncomfortable question. And it doesn't matter if I have a 23 minute conversation with somebody on the wrong day about the wrong topic, someone who could afford to book service, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. All that you, all you remember is the two, three seconds of a 23 minute clip that I didn't sit there and kiss somebody's foot and tell them they are, man, if you don't get out of here. Dr. Umar, I think it really tear his ass the fuck up. <laughs> but I just, I mean, I don't know. I just don't. And let me make qualify. If we talk, the, if we debate the subject matter, 
the facts, the data, the statistics, the outcomes, not the opinions. If we debate the subject matter, anybody. I think that the arguments that I heard from that viral video about Kevin Savos, I just didn't think that's not going to hold any weight. If they're going head to head in a, in a debate, I just think Kevin's going to wash the floor with them because it's so much more ground level perspective of how we actually know that people operate. It's just the message that he's giving. He's not really telling you like you need to like, you know, put your standards in check. He's really like shitting on these girls to the point where he's like, this is what you deserve. And but I think those that's are the women who call in and ask for relationship advice. So it's kind of hard for me to like, like I, I agree if you were to just choose a random woman in the public eye and just start rating her. Listen to this. He, he's doing this. He's doing that. You watch my content, how long? And this is a person, and, and this is another content creator. Talking about a content creator, you don't watch my stuff. You should know better. But I honestly, you do watch. You do watch, you watch enough to know that I'm going to tell the truth, and I'm going to call it right down the middle, and wait till you hear one of the most outrageous points. Because I've debunked so many of these superficial, easy, second grade arguments. Shout out to Quan Brown. I told you, this is quick saying, you fools is too easy. You got to come better with this. You're used to dealing with people that are just going to back down. I'm going to lean into the argument to see what you got dating possibilities that that would be very like bad, i mean in a but. way it's like the jerry springer shit right it's like yo why do they go on this show right. when they watch every week and they know they about to look crazy right but i don't know maybe it's hard for me because of the age maybe because they're black women like i just feel like every clip i've seen when he's shitting on a girl they're black and like that's really hard for me to watch i feel like that's just his audience every clip she see me shitting on a black woman uh ma'am disingenuous at best Clip with almost a million uh, views on it with me talking to three non-black women. Two of them. On Worldstar. Countless videos on Worldstar, me talking to non-black women. Countless videos on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook memes. Knock it off. The fact of the matter is you, just like, just like Sister Shahara Zad Ali said almost 40 years ago, Black women have been held apart from their, they've been held apart from introspection, critique, and they're part of the problem. And that's the problem. You have not been critiqued to where any critique seems to like you, that you're bashing. You expect to win everything you do. Have you ever seen somebody who just expects to win all the time? And when they finally lose, they're shocked. Look on your left ring finger. Do you have a man of value actively vetting you to be his wife? If that's not what you want, like it or not, uh, we got one out of four black women were married. At least double that number want to be married. Because the next lowest rate of married people in this country is white women at 54%. Just admit, you don't like the truth because the truth is going to make you have to be accountable solely for your part. I feel like he would be eager to talk shit to a white woman. It might. It, it, you think so? <laughs> I don't really see, like, I don't think it's, like, racialized besides the fact that he just has a largely what? black audience. Well, I just mean the viral woman? clips of, like, you know, you calling girls ugly. Like, they're always... And and believe me, he takes it way too far. He says the rudest, most fucked up shit I could ever think That's what of. I mean. And he knows that he's doing that and he's going to get extra... No, I don't take it way too far. I match energy. What you see... May you may you may maybe too far for you, but I give exactly what needs to be given, because we don't start out far. We start out exactly where we need to start. The problem is some people only hear far, and that's what you folks need to understand. Stop shooting the messenger, because look about it. every time I've taken it too far. It's because every incremental adjustment was being overstepped. Media attention from his audience for like. But see, Howard Stern, a Charlemagne, 
people like that that can make those moments happen without being that disgusting Who? that's talent what kevin samuels is doing Who? is just like mean you the way that you can bring out things to people and either get them a little riled up or angry or whatever like that's not you really really shitting on someone for this fucking moment that kind of shit i don't really like like i would never want to be in the position of having to do the kind of content that kevin samuels does and but actually that's why i think it's almost kind of like brave because charlamagne like would never speak to a woman on his show that way granted he doesn't interview just like random ass women who have nothing going for him but i feel like he has too much of a career. He knows that his his career would probably fucking but torpedo no if he said that kind of shit. It. The point, though, I think is just to be real. Because he, just be but honest. Because doesn't need to do that. But don't you think we're in a... And that's the point. Nobody else can risk doing it. And she said it doesn't need to be done. Oh, a million subscribers and men every night say it does. And that's what bothers them. I don't know why they keep coming back. Why do they keep coming back? Because just like the countless of men I've spoken to today, shout out to you, brother. Hope you and your wife had a lovely anniversary. You know who I'm talking about. Black men after 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 other 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 men after woman after woman after woman. Every time I go out, I hear thank you. So to all you women who don't can't seem to understand that this is actually helping. But see, it only helps the people who want to be helped. It only helps the people who actually want something healthy that's going to facilitate a conversation. You get to understand where men are coming from. See, the problem is, think about the hype. Think about the anaphylactic reaction I get. It's almost like Kevin Samuel's derangement syndrome. One guy with one YouTube channel gets all this heat when you've had 40 years of men ain't crap. To the point to where... He doesn't need to do that. He doesn't need to do that. The nerve of you. Maybe you need to be quiet and listen instead of talking about what you don't know. But that's the problem with women not being able to handle the truth. They want to shut down discourse so it can just go back to being comfortably numb. Okay, here's the problem with that. You're not getting the outcomes you want. Society that really disincentivizes being honest. Is honesty calling someone a linebacker? I mean, if she's the size of a linebacker, then I mean, she's a linebacker. I, I, I mean, I just, I feel bad, bro. Like nobody would ever get on a woman's ass for saying the same thing to a fat man. Basically is what I would say about that. The way that like, way that he shits on people. I don't know, bro. And I feel like fat guys get fucked, bro. Like I fuck chunky dudes. Like, I know that the world is set up unfairly for sure. It is because I started <laughs> to look past it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'd be like, all right, he's funny. Yeah. I like your car. Uh huh. Yeah. So we'll screw fat dudes, but we ain't talking about just short term hookups over here. We're talking about relationship. So shout out to Adam Twenty Two because uh, I appreciate the fact that he, uh, you know, they have the conversation. And I think more and more men who may not even necessarily like what I do understand the need. Understand the need. 